Nigeria, when someone professes faith in Jesus Christ, you pretty much know it's, it's true. Why? They can die because of that profession. But in America, oh, consider the cost. Think, examine your life in light of Scripture. Do you know the Lord? Do you know the Lord? Because not everyone who says to him, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. But what does it say here? Look what it says. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. What is the sign that someone has become a genuine Christian? I wish that we would start teaching this again. What happened to our theology? What happened to our doctrine? What happened to our teaching? It went right out the window. No one wants to study doctrine anymore. They just want to listen to songs and read the back of Christian t-shirts. What happened to truth? Truth tells you this, yes, the evidence, the way that you can have assurance that you are genuinely a born again Christian is that you do as a style of life, the will of the father. You say, oh, you're talking about works. No, I'm not. I'm talking about evidence of faith. And it goes like this. Your profession of faith is no proof that you're born again because everybody in this whole country professes faith in Jesus Christ. Barnard tells us that 65 to 70 percent of all Americans are saved. Born again Christians. Most godless country on the face of the earth. Kill 4,000 babies today, a day, but bless God, 70% of us are born again. How do you know that that faith you have is not false? A style of life that is concerned about doing the will of the Father, that practices the will of the Father, and when you disobey the will of the Father, the Holy Spirit comes and reprimands you, either personally through the written word of God, God puts you back on the path again.